Hi everybody, I wanted to give you some video feedback. You have a, several of you together uh, so that you can look at each other's work. It usually helps students a lot. That's the feedback I get. So I want to jump in and view these as a first time site visitor. I have looked at them, but I'm going to just kind of look at them as the, you know, um, your client perspective. So I'm going to jump right in. Uh, Gary, I I really love how clean your site is and you've got a great photo, uh, very you know friendly and professional looking. The quality is really good and that's important. Your uh, navigation is super clean. Love all that. A little space underneath the header would help. I think it would work well if you also had straight corners here instead of the rounded corners. Ovals are a little difficult to work with. They don't always center and in this case it causes you to stack your name and you really wouldn't have to if you use this logo um, and moved it. You could keep it in the center and then or move it over to the left but I would bring your name to one line and uh, then you would be able to fit this under it and probably everything would be able to be beside the logo and I would remove the circle. You may need to make the lettering white for that to work, but, but that's what I would try. And uh, legible. Uh, the only thing here is, you know, these look really great. I would make sure that the um, thumbnail is not cropped. That's something that I know if I click on it, it'll be larger, but that's something that we want to be careful of. And Okay, so you could add, you know, the application that you used in some of these. That would be helpful. I think you may do that in some of these. You talk about it. So I would go ahead and do that for each. Uh, you may, I don't know if this needs to be in a separate kind of thing. Um, it, sometimes it feels like a campaign, in which case they can be kind of grouped together. Okay. But if they are all the same, then that's that's fine. I would probably, you know, identify it as the Lone Star um, campaign. Okay. So, so okay. And make sure that this is a Google Voice or some other free service, right? We don't want to put our personal information on anything. Uh, probably a Google would be better than a student email when you graduate. It's okay that you didn't update the year because we're going to be moving into that. Write is R-I-G-H-T. The Christmas color, not so great, not so fond of that. Um, I would uh, find something that, that works a little better, even if it's light green or what have you. But everything is linking up where it should just about. Go ahead and uh, check in that section, the anchor line over to the right. Uh, wherever you place that is where the page is going to land, so you could bring it up a little bit. And this works well. All right, nice. I let's see. I should have a mobile option for you. Okay. Yeah, I would move the oval and bring your name up. Bring this up. Try and separate. Uh, give a line between the paragraphs. It's the right amount. I can see for your style while you while you want the rounded corners. You're going to work on that. Okay. Uh, some things you won't need. You might, you know, just focus on the logo. I don't know if you need this because you already have it in places. I would probably take this one out. Shirts, you know, aren't showing up white and they're split down the center. I would probably not use the shirts in that situation. The hat, I think, is working. You do want to make sure you have your uh, 
social icons, at least to LinkedIn. That's people will definitely look for that. And if you, you can put it in your footer, that way it will be everywhere and it won't get in the way. Okay. Okay. All right. It's a great start. You don't have a lot that you have to do. Make sure that everyone makes bulleted points. Um, of your feedback because that's required in your revision. So go ahead and go through and make notes of everything that you're, uh, you know, the feedback you're getting. All right, nice. Okay, Alani. Uh, not need, you don't need to say hours may vary. Um, do use, you know, a Gmail or some other email, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Make sure you're limiting the type, uh, your fonts to just two. And probably don't need that here. The button is kind of cropped off, so I would remove it. And let's see what happens when we select this. We come down here, bypassing the about. Okay, let's bring, let's lower the anchor line on this, on the about page so that it lands right there. Okay, in that section there will be an anchor at the top in your editor. Okay. You can say earlier our articles so that they don't feel out of date by saying older. This is incomplete. And okay. Um, if you're going to have a work history and it doesn't seem to be a button, there's really no content here regarding your history. You could have a skills page if you like. Um, left align anywhere that there are paragraphs and uh, take that out and take this out okay everyone is getting a bachelor of science in case they're not sure close up some of the empty spaces and double check the kerning, okay? Make sure it's consistent with all of your headers. Take that off. You need to have a form here. I would use the logo. People uh, find that more quickly. But uh, a form is needed there. Let's see. And let's just checking links. Okay. Yeah, close up a little bit of that space throughout and uh, fix the kerning between the headers, make those consistent. Um, watch things like this. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the mobile. Okay. Let's take this out because you've got it right here. Okay. Take that out. This is really your uh, call to action too for your your work. So if you want to, you know, see work here or whatever, and latest is fine. Let's take a Let's take up several lines out of that so it's not so much scrolling. This is an article, so it's going to be like that. Uh, we ha you have that you're, we've got graphic design and we've got bloggers, so you're going to have to find a way um, to combine those in a 
reasonable way that the, doesn't confuse the user. Take these out. Um, just provide what the uh, client wants to know. Left align this. Watch your spacing. Make sure it's con uh, consistent throughout. Consistent spacing, and uh, I don't know, am I the only one who capitalizes? I guess that's a sentence, but okay. All right, so not a lot to fix, not a lot to fix. You're going to go in and, you know, take out a few things, uh, but yeah and probably a link to a blog. You can have a blog page if you have content for it. That would be something you could add. Not everyone does, and so uh, they usually need to remove it. But you could, you could do that. Okay, all right. Good start. Okay, Michaela. Okay. So I see all about film. Doesn't tell me yet what it is you do. Let's make that black text if you're going to do that so we can read it. Okay, left align, comma after 12, so it doesn't appear 121. Okay, let's see, portfolio. Okay, I think that this is a page that uh, either needs to be populated or removed. In which case, if you are, what you've done is you've added your portfolio to your about page or your bio in another section. And let's see, very pretty. I would have that up front somehow. Uh, while we're here, we'll see where, okay. Um, Okay, these, make sure those are linking and you need to have asset guides, okay? That's really important. So if you are going to have these on the same page as your bio, in the Wix editor, you're going to add an anchor. Um, you're going to add a link first under bio and uh, it will give you a secondary page that'll be under here. Um, it'll be a link. They, I believe, if I didn't post how to do that, I will. It should be in your resources on how to do that, how to link an anchor from your navigation. But otherwise you need to move all of this to this page. Okay, so whatever is quicker for you. Okay. Um, be very careful about personal information. I would take this out, the mom of three. It's one thing if it's included deep within a blog, but I wouldn't put it on your about. Let's remove this because if you are a filmmaker, then you have uh, your own work to show here. And let's remove this if it's a personal number. Okay. It may be that this is going to be on your, that maybe your asset guides will be found. Let's see. 
when I look at your mobile site. Okay, check out anything that uh, is placeholder or a Wix image and ovals. They just don't really hold up very well. Left a line, take this out. We just want to focus on your work, not someone else's. Uh, let's see. Good, you're linked up. Be careful about, you, you probably do not need to put a map there. You have, you know, uh, Ohio, which you want to capitalize. If we go to bio, okay. I would just have these in the footer. I would center them, take these out, left align. I would just say film credits. A resume would look a little different from that, right? So those would go there. Yeah. Right, so these would play instead of just having the images. Okay, so a little organization. is the main thing. Okay. Put your asset guides in here so we know exactly what your role was. Separate full sale. It's two words as you have it here. Okay, so some details, but uh, make sure you make all those corrections before you revision. And uh, yeah, I want everybody to know also that this class will be wrapping up 14th and 15th, okay? There may be a quiz, you know, that you have a few days on, but um, other than that, no late work on week four. You've got a holiday coming up, and we want to wrap everything up. I won't be available uh, or be able to have access to FSO after the 14th, so you want to make sure that you get everything in on time, all right? You can have a one-on-one -on -one with me, next week, whatever you need, but just make sure that you meet those deadlines so you, you know, get everything with your grades uh, caught up and everything, okay? All right. Okay, so uh, I saw two images here, so I'm not sure which one is correct. Hard to read the logo up here and the tagline. Needs to be a little bigger, probably not this color because of the backgrounds. Uh, I would, you're linked up, that's great. I would probably put those in the footer. Careful, this color isn't showing very well. Also, yeah, it's the purple's not reading very well. I would have a solid color. I would avoid a gradient here. Gradients are going to be really tough to put any color on because they have both light and dark. So, just a solid color here. Something simple, maybe a medium dark gray, and uh, white text would even show this off better. Okay, so something simple, good. But you have your tag, you have your asset guides here, and, and that's really great. Okay. I'll try putting that on one line up here because these are one line if you can get it shorter even better okay okay hard to read this if you want to put it in a light blue uh, be easier to read a little space before this paragraph probably this much just, if you can, I'm not sure you can, just a wee bit space between here, but you may not be able to, and that's fine. Okay. 
You could have just a white header back here and still use the purple. This probably needs to be uh, a sans serif. Okay. You know, it could be even a softer, lighter purple, just a little, just hard to read, or maybe just enlarge the text a little bit. It's a uh, really small placeholder. Remove that. Okay. Okay. The numbering uh, doesn't isn't really consistent. Now we have two, and then we have three. Then, in that situation, this would be one, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I would change this color. It's not going to work with all of your images. So if you can go into a neutral color, then you can guarantee that it's going to match all of your work, and that's going to be important. Okay, let's check out your mobile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably take several lines out. See how this is wrapping up here? You want to take a look at that. Looks like you have two navigations here. This will be plenty. Okay, so you don't need the horizontal in your uh, mobile site. Go ahead and put a LinkedIn here. A little hard to read this. Okay, so we talked about that. All right, so basically you've got all the information that you need. It's just a few tweaks, background, and uh, some text, maybe. All right? Good job. OK. I think this could be a little bit bigger, so it's uh, easier to, to read. And you have your YouTube link there. Probably can reduce the depth of your footer, I'm guessing. We'll see when we get here. Yes, tighten that up down here. That's uh, unnecessary scrolling. OK, good. Uh, I remember telling you that uh, you'll want to let the line, your paragraph text. Beautiful. I hope that's yours. If not, replace it with one that is, but that's beautiful. And left a line. I think it is, since you're in Japan. OK. Okay, good. Left align this content. It's easier on the eye, has a cleaner edge. Try and make sure that this comes up on one line so a word isn't by itself. More like you had it somewhere. Well, otherwise, these are really good, right? You've got consistent fonts, spacing. Mm hmm. Nice. Okay. Okay. I think I would align this, but definitely uh, make this a little shorter. I do recommend everybody has a LinkedIn so they can, you know, uh, it's a good place to put your professional, you know, experience things you've worked on, and it will always be there, okay, in a nice, tidy, um, organized manner, and people can go and find it. All right, and uh, you'll send me your get feedback link. Okay, Florentine, little spacing around this. Maybe you just use pink instead of this box. This font is really tough. I know it's the template, but it really needs to be a sans serif like this because it's hard to read with the very fine strokes that this particular um, font has. If you look at the N, the A, okay, 
A lot of scrolling there. You probably could reduce that. Okay. Add a LinkedIn. In fact, you may not need this here because you have this. So you probably can take that out. Okay. I recommend a sans serif like this. Easier to read. Try and break this up into two paragraphs with just some space between them. You could probably bring this up a little higher, right? Which means the anchor can come down and it will go here, or you can take that, just take that space out. Okay, remove this background. That's part of the template. Okay. Okay, so if I'm on your original site, that would open. Just make sure here I would add your asset guide. Hmm. Add one of your images back here. You can reduce the opacity so that this shows up and doesn't compete. Remove uh, any personal phone numbers or information. Okay, I love the green. So you know, if you want to make a very light green solid background or something like that, you know. But rather than have this, that uh, is stock. And the reason I say that is because if you're a studio, then they want to know that you know feel like you uh, produced all the work on your site. Okay, let's look at the mobile. Okay, so if I select these, okay, mm -hmm. that's where you're going to talk about the tools that you used. Okay. So you'll probably take at least two paragraphs out on the mobile. And uh, close this gap up and put, you know, you're going to have your social icon there. I would change portfolio to work since that's what you've called it, and I would probably capitalize this W. And then here, my work. Okay, if that's what that header is going to be. All right. Not a lot of changes, but some important ones. All right. Good job. Okay, Susan, we want to make sure we move the contact under the about. Uh, start by going into the editor, and in your pages and menu, just drag it you know, grab the contact and drag it underneath about. If it is linked, okay, so it's going to go here. Uh, let's remove that. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Just drag it under about and then remove this. That would be the quickest thing for you to do. Just take all that out because it's no longer linked, which is good. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So go ahead and give a little line as to, you know, the gear, uh, what you, what your role was. You know, if you need to. It, because it's harder for people to read through a paragraph and pull out that kind of information. So, I mean, even if you were to bold it in places where you say screenplays and commercials, right? Um, but that's what they need. A little hard to, you know, you're competing with this, the background becomes more important. 
Uh, so probably you would need a blue, some sort of rectangle behind this to separate it. it can have a, a lower opacity. Okay, writing, production, and videography. Writing, videography, and production. Let's put those in the same sequence. Okay, if you have writing, videography, production, then same there. Services. It would be better if you had images of your team. These are placeholders. Uh, you know, they come from Wix. Remove this. Put a LinkedIn to be professional. And I put this at the bottom. Put your information in the footer because it's going to start showing up in different ways. Uh, you had a photo of yourself before. Okay. Uh, just a little more focus on the work that you've done and a little uh, and fewer images that are stock. Yours is getting lost within all these images. Okay, so that's what I would do. First, you're going to drag that under here and take that one out that's on the home page. Yeah, you know, take a look at your mobile and see how that's working out for you. That's an important part this week. Okay, all right, everybody, good work. I look forward to seeing these um, revised. Make sure you get them on. Uh, in on time. Remember week four, there are no uh, late submissions. There's not a grace period for those. And uh, I think you really only have about two assignments, really. So it will be a benefit to you so we can make sure we get your grades wrapped up and I can ensure that you're passing and so forth. Um, otherwise, I can't help you, right, if I don't know soon enough. This needs to be a little larger. Probably take this off Maybe just have this because it's hard to read the logo. All right. All right, everybody. Have a great afternoon, a great weekend. Message me through the assignment. If you have a question, just make sure you turn everything in that you can. Uh, not turning it in uh, is a definite zero, right? But if you turn something in, you're going to fare much, much better. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend.